It's time for the 420 Radio News, covering the latest headlines in consumer cannabis, medical marijuana, and industrial hemp. Transcripts of 420 Radio News are available daily on our website at 420radio.org. Now, here's Russ Melville with your marijuana headlines in 4 minutes and 20 seconds. This is your 420 Radio News for Wednesday, September 17th, 2014. Marijuana Legalization Group launches Consume Responsibly campaign from the Washington Post. The Marijuana Policy Project, which played a significant role in helping to pass legalization in Colorado, is launching a $75,000 public education campaign to counter what Communications Director Mason Tavert describes in a statement as decades of, quote, exaggeration, fear-mongering, and condescension, end quote. The campaign will launch at noon in Denver, Colorado, in front of a billboard aimed at tourists that reads, quote, don't let a candy bar ruin your vacation, end quote. Because many people have more experience smoking marijuana than consuming it in edible form, and because the high is slower to take hold with edibles, it can prove hard for users to self-regulate, as was the case for New York Times columnist Maureen Dowd. Quote, I was panting and paranoid, sure that when the room service waiter knocked and I didn't answer, he'd call the police and have me arrested for being unable to handle my candy, end quote, she wrote in a June column that was ridiculed by legal pot advocates at the time. The campaign will feature print ads, online ads, and literature to be distributed at retail locations urging responsible consumption and directing people to consumeresponsibly.org. Two is enough. D.C. forms to oppose marijuana legalization efforts in the district, from the Washington Post. A group has formed to combat the legalization of marijuana in the District of Columbia, an issue residents will vote on this fall. Two is enough. D.C. is, quote, a movement by a diverse group of Washingtonians, end quote, to fight, quote, the scourge of a third legal recreational drug, end quote, along alcohol and tobacco in the district, founder Will Jones III announced at a news conference Wednesday morning. Jones challenged Adam Eidinger, campaign chairman for the pro-legalization D.C. cannabis campaign, to a public debate. The most high-profile speaker at Wednesday's news conference was former Congressman Patrick Kennedy, who once crashed his convertible into a concrete barrier at the Capitol while under the influence of prescription drugs. Kennedy chairs Project Sam, a national organization formed to combat legalization measures across the country. Jones, a 24-year-old Maryland native, said his group has been supported by Project Sam but received no financial pledges from Kennedy's organization or any other, quote, big money, end quote. House passes bill to prevent using welfare benefits at marijuana stores from thehill.com. The House late Tuesday passed a bill to prevent people from using welfare benefit cards at stores that sell marijuana. Passed by voice vote, the measure sponsored by Representative Dave Reichert of Washington, titled Preserving Welfare for Needs Not Weed Act, would also ban withdrawing welfare cash at ATMs in stores that sell the drug. Washington is among the states that currently allows the sale of legalized marijuana. The NFL's hazy logic on marijuana from The Atlantic. According to reports, the league and its players have agreed in principle to liberalize the NFL's marijuana policy. Under the new rules, players will still be screened and punished for using marijuana, which remains a designated substance of abuse akin to cocaine. However, pot-induced suspensions and banishments will require a higher number of failed tests than other substances, and the threshold for a positive marijuana test, how much of the drug needs to be in a player's urine to trigger a red flag, will more than double from 15 nanograms to 35 nanograms, though remain lower than thresholds used by Major League Baseball, 50 nanograms, and the World Anti-Doping Agency, 150 nanograms. Dealer poaching customers at Cannabis City, Seattle's only state-licensed pot store, from the Seattle Times. Police say a man dealing marijuana out of the back of his Buick has been trying to poach customers from Seattle's only licensed recreational pot shop. Staff at Cannabis City called officers on Saturday night after they said the man threatened to, quote, stomp, end quote, a worker who confronted him. Employees told the officers they had seen the man several times before, giving out business cards to customers waiting in line to buy legal taxed cannabis at the store. The police department said on its online blotter Monday that the man left before officers arrived. They didn't find him or his vehicle. The state's voters legalized marijuana possession by adults over 21 in 2012, but it remains illegal to sell it without a state license. This has been your 420 Radio News for Wednesday, September 17, 2014. I'm Russ Belville.